Hi fellow web flowers. welcome to this eighth part of this multi-part tutorial where I'm going to show you how to build this website. So in the last tutorial we have built together this sticky section and in this tutorial we are going to build this testimonial section. And in case that's the first video you are seeing, here is the link to the playlist so you can start with the first video. So let's get into it. So as always, we will start with a look into Figma to see what we are building. Here we have this testimonial section and yeah, we can see that it has no padding left and right and there will be a simple animation when the user scrolls down, this entire track will move from here to uh, from, from left to right and if the user scrolls up, it will just move from right to left. So let's build that in Webflow. So here in Webflow, I've already prepared a section and we are going to give it um, the class testimonials. And within there, um, we will have the section padding. This is one of my global classes to set up uh, paddings. Um, pad stands for padding, TB for top and bottom and 128 for 100. 28 pixels and um, I use EM values so it also gets bigger and smaller regarding to the screen size. So within there we will have another div. This will be the testimonials wrap and within there we will have another div. We can't have enough divs of a, on a website like that, always remember. And uh, this will be testimonials inner. So the testimonials wrap, this will uh, be the diff that we um, give the overflow hidden. So um, we don't have an overflow on the page, so we can't scroll um, to left and to right. And the testimonial inner, actually, this will be the direct parent of all of our um, testimonial items. Uh, so I can, I can already add here another div and this will be testimonials item. So the testimonial inner um, we will set to display flex and yeah we can leave this align and justify settings and we will just give it a gap of uh, 1em and also the rows 1em. Maybe we don't need the rows but um, let's leave it like that and we will give it a position relative. So within there we have the first testimonial item. Um, at first I will give it a background color. You use this background color and we will uh, give it a radius. If we have another look at the design you can see we have a border radius here. So we have a border radius of 24 pixels. 24 pixels matches 1.5 EM and we have some padding. So the padding is 32 and 24. Uh, 32, that means 2 EM. And here we have 1.5 EM. Here we go. So next is that we have an image name and the position and uh, then a quote. What else could we do then adding another div here and uh, this div is going to be the testimonials person wrap and within there we will have an image and another div and this one I'm going to call uh, testimonials person ID. So the person wrap we can set to display flex to bring the image to the left and the text to the right. Um, yeah, we can leave the settings and we can give the column a gap of 1em. And now we can add like a, uh, yeah, like a paragraph or text, just a text block, it's also fine. And 
let's check the size okay let's copy the name Peter Miller let's see if one of our yeah we could probably go with this um, h5 class or yeah let's leave yeah let's use this h5 class for now and we need another text block we can actually just copy this one uh, for this position I'm going to give this is txt small. Okay, fine. So let's choose one of our images. They should be uploaded already. Testimals IMG. Um, let's check our design for the size. It is 64 pixels. That means 4m and a border radius of 99 pixel to make it a perfect circle and I forgot on the parent to align it to the center so now the text and the image are centered so next thing is that I'm going to add the testimonial quote so let's copy that one. Let's add a paragraph, copy the text, and we have a spacing of 32 pixels. So let's go to the testimonial items. Um, let's turn it also to flex, vertical, align it, start, and give, it, give the rows a gap of 2 EM. And we also need a max width uh, for the entire testimonial item. Let's see. Okay, there's 320 pixels. So here we go with 320 divided by 16 EM. So that's our size. Um, I forgot to give the paragraph a class. It's txt medium. Uh, medium is probably too large. Let's check the design again. Uh, we have medium here, okay. But anyhow, I'm going to use small because it just looks more like in the design. So that's it actually with this testimonial item. And if I'm going to duplicate it now, several a couple of times you can see that it's now shrinking that is because of this flex child sizing i have to apply don't shrink or grow to um, maintain the size but you can also see that i can't scroll right now so to fix that i have to go to testimonials inner and set it to overflow auto and now you can see we can scroll and now we can add an animation to this. And by the way, here's one of my favorite ways on how to use Webflow components. You can see here in this testimonial slider, it will be hard for your customers to edit the text of the testimonials that are not in the viewport. And it doesn't matter if they are in the designer role or in the editor role. So what you can do here, you can delete all testimonial items and just leave one, make a component out of it. Now go to the component and make the image editable as well as all the text. And now you can duplicate the component and now your customer can edit the text of the testimonials here in the sidebar. And the last thing we have to do is set up the animation. For the animation, I'm going to select my testimonials wrap and create a new trigger while scrolling in view. I set up a new scroll animation. 
let's call it testimonials. And um, we want to move our testimonials inner on the X axis. So I'm going to select it and make a move. I'm going to move it from 0% to something like, let's say minus, let's try minus 30. Oh, and I can see we have a little problem here. And um, I think I know what it is. I have to go back to the CSS settings. Uh, yeah, it's that overflow outer. We have to get rid of that. So if we go back to our um, animation now, you can see now it works, but it looks a little bit stiff. We have to add some smoothing here. And I think we need some really high smoothing, something like 90. 96% 96 is a little bit too much. So let's turn it down to something like 94%. Yeah, it looks great. Um, to see it better, I'm going to add a dummy section. My dummy section already has 200 uh, viewport height. And that's what I want to see. Looks quite good, but it's I'm not that happy with that already. So let's change the animation a little bit. Let's go down to something like 90% and also Let's try EM instead of percentage. Sometimes that's better. Let's try minus 40 EM. Yeah, this actually looks better. Let's push it and let's see how it looks on the live side. Now on the live side. Yeah, this looks great. Okay, now let's see how the testimonial section is responding. Okay, we have to give them a little bit more height here, a uh, width. Something like that. It can be a little bit reduced, so we can also see the third one. And maybe here something like this. Yeah, that looks fine. So that wraps it up with the testimonial section. In the next video, we are uh, going to build this section here. Um, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, subscribe to it not to miss any of the following videos. And as always, stay in the flow.